Welcome back. It's Dr. Jen for Boney, better known as Doc Jen Fit. And we're going to go over some exercises that you can do to help prevent meniscal type injury. Meniscus injuries are so, so common. And we actually did a podcast to understand what meniscus injuries and tears really entail, what they mean, and even some exercises that you can do. So check out that video first if you really are having some meniscal issues. Now, if you really want to help prevent knee issues, prevent some of these things, then these are some of my top exercises that I really highly recommend everyone does. Now, what's really common when we're having knee issues is that sometimes our quads get really tight and overworked. However, we want strong quads, but we want lengthened quads as well. So doing something like a reverse Nordic really helps to improve that load and tolerance to the knee without standing and doing a little bit more functional exercises just for strengthening as we're working on that mobility. Now, if that's way too difficult right now, you can use a band to help a so you can tie this like usually around like a rack or something super sturdy and use however much resistance of a band that you need. I'll show you. So holding onto the band in front, you're going to squeeze those glutes, keep everything in alignment, and then you try to drop your shoulders back as much as you can. Once you feel a stretch and a lot of load, you're going to slowly come back up. So it's about going really slow and just to where you can tolerate. If you're barely coming back and forward, that's okay. I'd rather that than really like losing form, sticking out your glutes as you're going, or not really getting the full intention of the movement. So next one, I'm actually going to use some blocks. Elevating the foot helps to reduce some of that load and tension on the knee as well. So you can even hi have it a little bit higher, maybe on a bench, something that's just working on that range of motion, getting comfortable with that knee going forward over that toe. Okay. But we're going to go into a little bit of a lunge. And sometimes I like to use my arms. So getting my arm to kind of reach opposite arm, reaching forward as my hip comes back. This helps to keep better toe, knee, and hip alignment, but I'm also working on getting that knee to start to drop over that toe. So I help to work on ankle mobility as well as tolerating increased pressure of that knee going forward all throughout life, going downstairs, going downhill. When we bend to pick something up, we're going to have our knee pass our toe. So increasing that load and tolerance is going to help to build stability around that knee and a lot of strength. And if just kind of going back and forth is too much, you can always just start by holding. So hold for a little bit and then come back up. Okay, maybe you go a little bit deeper and then come back up. And if you can tolerate, that's when you start to go really low into that and see how much load and how much tension you can put forward over that knee. And then, of course, you can start to drop down to a lower surface or even the floor as you're doing it. The last one is one of my favorites. It's single leg reaches. And you're going to start by balancing on one foot. This is really going to be great to increase that stability and balance within your body. But we're going to take the body in different ranges of motion because also when we start to do more higher level movements, more dynamic plyometric type movements, your knee is going to have to increase its load and tolerance in different angles which is good. <laughs> but to start to work on that strength and stability, I like to just do it standing. Kick off your shoes so you can really feel your feet on the ground. And you're going to start by really keeping that knee kind of centered directly over that ankle. And we're going to start by reaching forward. Let that knee go forward a little bit. Back. We go side. And then the other side. And then you're just going to slowly, gently rotate one way and rotate the other way, trying to keep that knee kind of forward the whole time, okay? Once you start getting comfortable with that, see if you can go a little bit, reach a little bit deeper as you're doing each of those taps. See if you can bend that knee a little bit more as you go into each of those angles. And then the third progression, I would say, is allowing that knee to go in and out. So as I come forward, my knee comes forward. As I go back, my hip really drives back. If I come out to the side, I let that knee fall in just a little bit. Out to the other side, my knee goes out. 
If I rotate it in, my knee really is working on rotating in and rotating out. My knee's really working on opening out. So now I'm starting to get my knee used to loading and being balanced and strong in different angles because the reality is we're not always going to have this knee her following perfectly on that second and third toe, right? We're going to have to have that knee getting used to different loads, different positions, and that's what's truly best to help prevent some future aches and pains is to create a resilient knee. Don't forget, if you love what you're learning, I have so much more in stock for you. So hit that subscribe button, check out the other videos I've done in the past, and leave any comments of any suggestions that you have for videos in the future. And I can't wait to help you feel incredible and amazing within your body.